Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cypress Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is why taking a break from dating is beneficial. Dating today is so stressful and downright exhausting. It feels like the job interview that never pans out. You keep going back and forth to the drawing board over and over again. And this is because we don't always learn the lessons we're supposed to when we're dating, but we also sometimes can just not be at the best time in our life to be putting ourselves out there. There may be stuff that we need to deal with about our personal, you know, mental state of mind, just coming out of a breakup, all those things that just are everyday life that happen. You have to sit back and say to yourself, if I'm continuing to repeat a dating pattern that isn't working for me, something has to change. Dating can make you really anxious and it can take a toll on your self-esteem. So when is the right time to take a break from dating? The first one is if you're feeling that your health is being jeopardized in any manner, whether you're dealing with high anxiety on a regular basis, whether your, your self-worth is taking a dive because of the, the people that you've dated that haven't worked out and you feel nobody nobody's interested and you're not worthy of having a relationship all these sort of things when they come into a powerful place in your mind you have to sit back and say to yourself this isn't where i want to be right now i need to take a break from dating anybody and find out who i am because again you're allowing certain things to happen so if they're not working then you have to stop them from entering your life. Other reasons you know when it's time to take a break, if you're becoming jaded or angry and you're lumping everybody into a category, everybody's the same. This is something that is, is a very common problem, but people don't understand that they're a part of the equation, so they're part of the problem. So when this is happening and you're starting to become judgmental, or you're looking for fault in people, that's also a sabotage. That's a dating sabotage because sometimes we just don't feel that we're worthy of having love in our life, so we sabotage it and we choose the wrong people. This is another reason to sit back and look in. What am I doing to make this constantly happen to me that I'm always upset or I'm always sitting there questioning myself? When you start to question yourself too, very very high degree on a constant level this is when you have to also sit back and say to yourself I've got to just take some time to figure out what makes me tick who am I what are my priorities in life what do I have to offer somebody you also have to feel confident and feel good about who you are if you're going on a date and you're feeling insecure or you're already sort of jeopardizing it in your head though this isn't going to work out you're automatically sabotaging it and sometimes we don't understand that we're our own worst enemy in situations like this it's not always the other person it's us sometimes that just doesn't feel strong or confident enough to be out dating and that's just a matter of taking a little bit of time to get to know yourself better work on yourself work on your confidence if you have to see a counselor or therapist about it so be it there's nothing wrong with that we all need to better who we are and evolve as the years go by and sometimes we get a little stuck that's okay but you have to be aware that you're stuck because otherwise you're just going out and you're repeating pattern after pattern that is not helping you it's actually hurting your self-worth because it's continually happening and any patterns that are negative like that just keep adding more and more fuel to to being upset and being hurt and being sad that you haven't met your person another thing that can make you know you're not ready to date is that you're still thinking about your ex all the time and you're comparing everybody to them you're even talking about them on a date this is definitely a big red flag that you should take some time out. You're not ready to be out there and give yourself to somebody else because you're not over them. There is nothing wrong with taking time to be over a breakup. And sometimes it takes two years, sometimes it takes five, sometimes it takes six months. 
It all depends on if you were checked out of the relationship before it actually, the demise of it. And sometimes it's just a matter of understanding when you're not with somebody, oh, now I get it. I understand that we just didn't have this. This was missing. We weren't a really good, confident couple together. All these things take time to develop into your mind so that you understand them. But if you go out dating too soon after a breakup, you haven't, you haven't dealt with the grief of, of the breakup. You're still hanging on maybe to a bit of the ego stuff of why did it happen? And so then you go out dating and you're not giving yourself 100% to somebody else because you're not there 100%. There's always a, a good time to reset your mind and to calculate, recalculate everything and put it into a different mindset so that you are more open, you're more giving, you're more loving. You're not holding on to a repetitive time clock or whatever's happened in your past, it's still there. You're learning from these things. That's when you know you're ready to date again, when you feel good about things and you're not constantly going on a date, doing the comparison check, doing the, oh, I don't like this about them and the one thing and you're sort of sabotaging it before it even gets started. Get to know yourself, stand back and say to yourself, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna get to know me, I'm spending time with me, I'm gonna go on a holiday, I'm gonna spend time with really good friends who are good for me, I'm going to go and do things I haven't done for a while with, when it comes to fitness or, or anything that's a, a fun environment to put yourself in, but do it with maybe a couple of friends or by yourself. There's nothing like getting to know who you are than when you spend personal time alone. This also clears out those cobwebs that you don't know are there. It really helps clear them out. Taking accountability for your actions is huge because you're half of the equation when you go on a date. It's not just them. You and them together just maybe not didn't mesh well, but you have to take accountability for maybe what you did on a date, what you learned on a date. And once you start doing that, it's so much easier when you do go out again and meet people because you're aware. You're so much more aware of who you are and you're owning stuff from your past and from maybe who you were before. And you want to go into a better direction and evolve as a stronger person and be there to be able to give somebody all of you. When you take time to get to know yourself, it, you get a little bit more independence which is really good in a relationship because you're not relying on anybody. You're not sitting there saying, well, you know, I'm not okay just being by myself. You're okay with who you are when you stand alone, which is a wonderful thing to have. That's a big confidence and people like that. It doesn't mean that you can't give to somebody on top of that, but when you can be by yourself and you're comfortable in your own skin, that's a pretty big quality to have. And that's what a lot of people look for. And you know, as I'm telling you this, that you appreciate that in other people. So when you gain that within yourself and then you meet a, like, a person like-minded, then you have a really good start to a great connection. You're not sitting there holding on to scars of the past. You're letting go of them. You're learning the lessons. You're moving forward. And that's what somebody who's on a date wants to see. And you want to see the same from them. I often find that when you're not looking so hard, love tends to find its way to you. When you're open to receiving it, it comes and finds you. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please leave any comments you have or any questions below the video here today and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much everyone. Take care. Bye.